There's 108 stories in this curriculum. 108. And if I had to rate them, <laughs> uh, the coal within and the wheelbarrow would be at the very top. I love this story. In the early 20th century, a young man in Albany, New York, posted handbills throughout the town. And on these handbills, he said, I'm going to walk across that gorge at the edge of town Saturday morning on nothing but a cable. And I'm going to push a wheelbarrow. And all the people that they said, you got to be crazy. You're going to walk on a cable across that gorge. If you fall off of that cable, that gorge is so deep, you'll be a dead man. So all these people in town, they come out to watch. A lot of them just out of morbid curiosity. They want to see the guy fall. They want to see the risk of somebody falling. So he gets on that one side and he said, how many of y'all believe I can do this? Not a word. And he goes right across the gorge on that cable, never missing a step, not even slowing down. He gets on the other side and all these people gasp. He turns around and he looks and he says, how do y'all believe I can go back? And they all start chanting, we believe, we believe, we believe. So he looks at him and he says, who's going to get in the wheelbarrow? You see, believe ought to be spelled B E space L I V I N G. Be living. Do you believe alcohol and tobacco are bad for you? Potato chips are put weight on you. <laughs> if Coca Cola is bad for you, if you believe, you would be living without those things. If you think exercise is good for you, you would be living doing exercise. This is kind of a midterm or maybe late midterm or wherever it is in your lesson, maybe first exam. You see, because with faith is an action a changed behavior. And with that changed behavior, there's a fruit. So if this curriculum is making a difference in your life, if you have faith in this curriculum and in the goal setting and in the steps that we're doing, you're going to see a different person. Your behavior is going to change. And people around you are going to start saying, there's something different about him. I don't know what it is, but there's something different. Because you're be living a little bit different. True. You know, when I was coaching at Judson High School years and years ago, 1983, we told this story to the football team. And I was not the head coach. The head coach came to me and said, we're going to have a pep rally Thursday night. We're playing the state championship game Saturday. And we have a pep rally Thursday night at the stadium, and I want you to tell that story. Okay? So I got up and I did a whiz-bang Jim Dandy job. And I told him the story. And I said, you know, you, have to, you can get in the wheelbarrow. Or you can stand there and chant, we believe, we believe, we believe. But there's a lot of difference between getting in that wheelbarrow and just chanting, we believe. You really have to have faith that we're going to do. 
that Saturday we went to the game. We played Midland Lee at Texas Stadium. And somebody at Judson printed off, uh, I think, 100,000. Not really, but they printed out. I just, we just did honesty now embellishing. But they printed off a great number of these signs that say, We believe. And the game was going on, and, and it's 25 21. And Midland Leeds got the ball, and it's fourth down and one yard to go. And I'm in the press box, and I'm looking out there, and our guys, you can tell by the body language, a little bit tired. It's late in the fourth quarter. They only need just a, a foot or a yard to make the first down. And if they make it, they're probably going to go down and score and win and beat us. And all of a sudden, I start hearing this little noise. And all of these people on that side of the stadium stand up with those signs and they start saying, we believe, we believe. And you look at you on that field and there's a difference in the body language. There's a commitment. There's a belief and there's a change in behavior because all of a sudden they got faith. They got faith they're going to make that stop. That's what it comes down to. You've got to have faith. And it don't mean you stand at the bottom of the gorge and yell, we believe. It means you get in a wheelbarrow. You have faith in somebody to push that wheelbarrow. Or your school is going to push that wheelbarrow. Your company is going to push that wheelbarrow. Your church is going to push that wheelbarrow. Somebody is going to push that wheelbarrow and you're willing to get into it. That's the change in behavior. That's faith. And when you have that, now you're going to be the best you that you 